Hey guys, welcome back. I want to paint an acrylic candle for you today. This is a canvas board by Fredericks. If you haven't watched my tutorial on acrylic blending yet, I do recommend that you watch it first because it'll help you with the blending of this uh, lighter color around the flame. I cut out just a little piece of painter's tape to cover the brightest part of the flame so that um, I can keep it really nice and bright. The brushes that I'm going to use are by Deco and these are from the Clarity set and these are from the Fine Detail set. I'll be using some mop brushes for blending. These are from my local hobby shop and these are Color by Felix. So I'm not going to explain uh, each color that I get out right now because I end up not really even using these colors but throughout the tutorial I'll tell you what colors I am using for the parts that I actually end up using that color. So for this first part I'm going to fill in the lightest colors around the flame. I'm using a cad yellow by Golden Fluid Acrylics and I'm using terracotta orange which is just a craft paint. I'm using uh, like a small medium size mop brush and I'm going to start with the lightest color and then I'm going to start adding alizarin crimson this one is color by Felix as I start to add the darker color red I'm going outside of the orange like I'm leaving that little gap between the red and the orange and then I'm working my way down into the orange that way I have more paint on the outside rather than right up against the orange. I hope that makes sense. Um, if I put too much red paint right along the edge of the orange paint, it's not going to blend very well because there's going to be too much paint. So I started just a little bit further out and then worked my way in towards the orange. And then I used a clean and dry smaller brush to blend those colors together. I need to keep all of these colors wet as I'm blending the, the two different colors together. Like the orange paint had to be wet and the red paint had to be wet before I could blend. So now I'm about to start adding the black paint around the red. So I gotta make sure that I have some red paint on there that's wet. And again, starting on the outside and working my way into the red. And then I'll use a clean, another clean and dry brush to blend those two together. And I'm just going to speed this part up because I'm just blocking in the rest of the canvas with black. 
and then I'm doing the exact same thing over again because my paint was a little thin and I could see quite a bit of canvas coming through and I just wanted to make sure everything was covered up So here's where my problems start with the candle color. Um, I painted it this color and I knew right away that I was not going to be happy with the orange and uh, yellow at the top and orange and red at the bottom. So you don't have to paint this part. Just imagine that the candle is still uh, white <laughs> and that paint is not even there. And in a second, I even cover it back up with white. but. You needed to see me painting the flame part, so you will have to see the candle temporarily painted. Um, I'm using a fine detail brush, and I'm using some of the Alizarin Crimson and Cad Yellow, and I'm going around the edge of the flame. Now I'm adding some white paint to the middle of the flame. I had just a little bit too much red and yellow, uh, so I took a Q-tip before it dried and just tried my best to like clear that off of there and I'm adding some more white. So this is what I was talking about before. I covered up the candle with white <laughs> so I could start over. So the colors I'm going to use now are Indian Yellow, Cad Yellow, Cad Red, Alizarin Crimson, Prussian Blue, Viridian Green, and these and white. And these are all golden fluid acrylics. So the first color that I'm trying to go for is like a tan or like almost kind of beige. Uh, just a tiny bit of pink now if you have that color handy already without mixing then just go ahead and use that because honestly I spend quite a bit of time trying to mix these colors myself and I feel like probably could have saved quite a bit of time if I had just used the color straight out of the of the tube
that's black craft paint that I'm adding to the plate. I'm getting ready to add some like dripping wax along the side of the candle in the front but I end up covering that up but I'm not going to cut that part of the video out because if you want to do this you can see how I'm doing it I just I just didn't like the way it looked so I covered it up Now I'm going to mix up some colors to block in the candle holder.
I could have saved myself quite a bit of time if I had found this sooner, but I realized I had some paint called Flesh Tint by Color by Felix, and it's exactly the color that I wanted for the top of this candle. <laughs> I told you guys, I really struggled with the color today. I found yellow okra and raw sienna, both color by Felix, and they're exactly the color that I wanted for the candle holder. Um, I spent so much time trying to mix up these colors myself. I don't know, so if you have those colors, save yourself some time <laughs> and some trouble. Just use those colors.
I really am sorry about all of the crazy color mixing that I did for this one. I will make a full list in the description for you of what colors I used for each part of this painting. I really hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching.